Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are taking a look at the MSI MAG A1000G power supply. Um, it is ATX 3.0 compatible and they also claim it's PCIe 5.0 ready, which basically means it comes with the 16 pin um, high power connector that Nvidia implemented on the 4000 series uh, GPUs. I don't think there's m uh, much else that's different, but we are gonna take a look. This is what comes in the box. You have a <laughs> European Union regu regulatory notice. It's important. Little picture thing of how you're supposed to connect the new cable since there's been some issues with it uh, if you put too much of a bend and stuff all oh, right this is actually the PSU side never mind and then we have some foam And here's the PSU. It's actually quite small. Um, I, they they even said the back on the back of the box that it is smaller than um, previous uh, iterations of stuff. Let's see what it says. Um, smaller than typical PSUs on the market. The new ATX series PSU compact sizing makes it an excellent fit for more PC cases. So I guess that's true. Seems quite, it's almost like an SFX uh, power supply. It's a small form factor ones, or no, it's SFF, small form factor? Yeah, I think it is. What is this? Hmm. So yeah, here you have the pinout. So it's the usual layout, uh, except for you have the 12 volt high power connector all the way over here. Um, you have the 24 pin, which is this and this, because it's split, I'm assuming. And you have the CPU and PS PSIe connectors to here. And you also have CPU and PSIe connector to here. And then you have the SATA and the Molex power ones, four of them. And on the backs, on the back here, you have also a zero RPM uh, button for a uh, zero, zero fan it's called. So I guess you can turn on and off if you want it to, I think it was, uh, it, can go zero RPM if the TDP of the PSU is under 40%. Uh, so I'm assuming that's just for toggling if you want that to happen. Here's a look here and it has a silver accent here. Uh, nice big fan. Also, it says MSI here on the silver accent and there's like an MSI Dragon logo here, might not be. Uh, there you can see it. And it's also rated uh, 80 plus gold, which is what most PSUs uh, are rated these days. the side and look what's actually more to the side and in the box there's a bag uh, and just more foam 
So that's pretty much what's in the box. And the bag is... This is Velcro. Uh, and it has a power cable. This is the one that we use in, well, at least Norway. Um, so that's nice. This little bag here with four screws, which I assume is for mounting the PSU to the case. So let's take a look at what cables are here. There's one for Molex. Uh, this one has four. Oh, what is this? Huh. I don't recognize this one. Doesn't want to focus on it. So there's the normal Molex and there's this kind of cable, which I don't know what it does. Guess huh. okay, so I'll have to look into that. Uh, here's a... I can open it, I guess. Because this is one of the more special ones. Um, So it has the 16 pin on this end, so you plug that into the PSU and then you can use uh, this for like graphics cards that don't have the new system, I guess. So if they have uh, like two eights or Two eights and a six, or I don't know, maybe do six. That's some kind of time. So saves you some cables. <laughs> Next, we have the normal um, PCIe cables with. An 8 pin in one end and two 6 uh, plus 2 uh, in the other end. And here's another one, so there's two of those. There is two uh, EPS, uh, what's it called? The EPS. They're called EPS, uh, but it's uh, CPU cables. Now it says you can, yeah, yeah you, so there's two of them, uh, and in the end that you plug into the motherboard, you can actually split them. So some motherboards have only the one eight pin, some have an eight pin and a four pin, uh, some have two eight pins, so you can, uh, Adjust accordingly to what you need, which is nice. This is just a 24 pin, so nothing special. Can also split the end of here for some reason. Just normal 24 pin. Here's the new cable. The it's 
a very chunky one. It's uh, a 16 pin in both ends and it's rated for 600 watts. That's quite a lot <laughs> uh, because you this can take 600 watts and also the PCIe slot on the motor vault also deliver I think it's about 150 watts. So that means you have 750 watts just for the the graphics card. Potentially you can't deliver that at least. Also the reason I bought this PSU is because I got a bit uh, silly and uh, actually bought a 4090 uh, graphics card so I'm gonna get use of this cable. And then we have a lot of uh, SATA power which you use for um, some um, RGB, RGB hubs, you use it for um, the old SSDs, also uh, HDDs, like the normal uh, normal hard drives, uh, the big chunky ones. So there's three cables and there's four connectors on each of them. So that means you have 12 in total. That seems a bit excessive these days because a lot of people have changed to using uh, NVMEs and they don't. They don't need this cable, so yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching this unboxing video, and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.